Okay, the first test we're going to do using the uh, TCON 14B is an indoor test. I've got some hats on a rack about 10 feet away from the camera. I've zoomed the camcorder in five or six times, probably about six times, so that when we put the converter on we won't see the vignette. And this is the view uh, just from the camcorder itself. I've locked the settings down, f4, uh, 6dB at 60 shutter speed so we can see if there's any light loss when we put on the converter. And there we go with the 1.45 TCON converter on. Now we're going to take some uh, zoom just to see what kind of quality we get. The Sony CX900 has a 24 times uh, image stabilization zoom, but I find when you get past the 18 to 20 times, somewhere in that range, the quality goes down. So I'm just going to zoom into where I normally would. I normally stop somewhere in there, maximum zoom. That's just looking at a slider bar. There is no number, so I'm, I'm assuming I'm somewhere about between 18 and 20 times zoomed in there. And I'll show you what it looks like with a full zoom in. So again, this is with the converter on. Okay, now we're on test number two. I've moved outside. I've locked all the settings down so that we can see if there is light loss with this adapter. There's not supposed to be. Uh, we're shooting f4, 0 decibel gain, and 250 shutter. And this is the view without the adapter on there. And there's the view with the adapter on. Let's try zooming in and see what kind of quality we get. That's 100% zoom right there. See if there's any fringing going on. And we'll try to pick up some detail on the neighbor's uh, So that house is probably 100 yards away. Just let go so we're not getting any vibration. That's the one thing even with the stabilization on with these big long huge zoom factors. Uh, the slightest touch on the tripod you're going to get a bit of uh, vibration throughout the image. We'll come back to where I normally like to go. My maximum is somewhere around there usually. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll lock this back down right here and we'll uh, take a look at the view without converter on there and there we have the view without there's the view uh, as you pan back I'll just show you not till we get about halfway through the zoom factor do we get rid of that vignette right about there somewhere in there I'd be comfortable zooming into there on any wildlife or anything I'm shooting. Focus on the tree back here.
Okay, I just wanted to do one more test here uh, to show chromatic aberration when the lens is stopped down to f4. There's quite a bit. So I'm just going to manually go through uh, f-stops up to f11 and see what if it makes any difference. 4.4, f4.8, 5.2, 6.2, 7.2, 8.2. Eight seven nine six F ten and F eleven and here is the last scene just testing sharpness at F eleven probably about sixty to seventy yards to that house. Here is the last scene again, properly color corrected, sharpened, and levels adjusted. In conclusion, this is an excellent teleconverter. It uh, is a little bit on the big side, but for the price, $60 Canadian, in excellent condition. It's an excellent uh, tool to add to the CX900 arsenal.